Good morning! My name is Denise and welcome to Suncoast Crafting. Today we will look at using dot stick adhesive to decorate a door knocker. I'm reviewing Diamond Dots branded products for these projects. I have included a variety of links for products in the show notes. I selected these options because I use them myself. I am not sponsored by any of these companies. Wherever you choose to shop, as always, look for coupons, sales, and special deals. You can buy new basic diamond painting accessories or use the ones you already have. With all methods, it's recommended to use protective film over the project to protect it from dust, cat hair, and whatever else might get caught on that adhesive. The official instructions also recommend rolling over the whole project with a brayer or rolling pin at the end to make sure that the diamonds are firmly adhered. Today, we will use Dots Stick Adhesive and the Morocco-inspired votive pattern on pages 8, 9, and 41 from Diamond Art Sparkle at Home to decorate a door knocker. I am going to use Dots Stick Adhesive on this project. I bought an inexpensive door knocker from Dollar General, and my husband used three colors of paint to paint it to have a distressed look. Now I'm going to use a blue and a pink colorway to diamond paint the front and the back of the door knocker. To make it easier to see the pattern, I've printed the pattern on page 41 at 150% so it's easier to follow. I'll find the middle of the hanger and the middle of the bottom row on the pattern and start there. You can apply dot stick to part of the surface you're working on or all over. If you paint a larger area, you only have to wait for it to dry once. But be careful to protect the drying adhesive from dust, cat hair, and you know. Let's talk about the cost. Let's talk about the door hanger. The door hanger from Dollar General was $1. Let's talk about the pattern. The Morocco inspired votive patterns come from Diamond Art Sparkle at Home by Diamond Dots on page 8, 9, and 41. The book was $9.99. There are 16 projects in this $10 book, so each project is $0.62. Cents. Let's talk about the brushes. The metal glue brushes in a 36-pack are $6.99, or $0.19 cents per brush. 
They get down to 11 cents per brush if you buy a pack of 144 brushes. They come in different sizes and you can probably find them for even less. Let's talk about the glue. I bought a bottle of Dot Stick from Joann's for $8.99. I will use this bottle for several projects. Let's talk about the diamonds. The blue and pink Morocco-inspired votive patterns each have five colors. I ended up selecting a mix of new and leftover diamonds. For consistency, let's say I bought all the colors new from Joann's without a coupon or sale. Each side is five colors for $10. The whole project, both sides, is 10 colors at $2 per bottle for a total of $20. Let's talk about finishing the project. Let's talk about the paint. I bought three sample colors of Valspar paint at Lowe's for $4.98 for each 8 ounce jar for a total of $14.94. Let's talk about the polycrylic spray. The Minwax polycrylic spray was $16.99 at Ace Hardware. I will use this on more than one project. Let's talk about the total. The most expensive total for this project is $78.90 for the door hanger project. I still have a half a bottle of Dot Stick and about a little less than a half a can of the polycrylic spray. So it isn't really fair to put the whole cost of those items on this one project. This total assumes that you are using these items only for this one project and you are using all new items, nothing left over from another product. Your mileage may vary. How much can we bring down the total for this project? After all, we started with a $1 door hanger. We don't always use brand new items for every project, so it isn't really fair to put the whole cost of the items on this one project. If you say that the pattern you actually used was one of 16 patterns in the book, so each pattern is 62 cents, and you say that the one brush you actually used out of the 36 in the pack was 19 cents, then we can actually bring the total down. I've been using the one bottle of Dot Stick and the one can of Minwax Polycrylic Spray since last January when I started this series. I have a half a bottle of Dot Stick left and a quarter of the can of the spray. I think I can get at least eight projects out of each, probably a lot more. Also, instead of using both the pink and the blue colorways, you could diamond paint the door hanger in one colorway. Instead of 10 colors and $20, you would only need five colors of diamonds or $10. And if you were only doing one colorway on the entire door hanger, then you would only need white and one of the bright colors for the distressed look. So instead of $14.94 for the three sample jars, it would be $9.96 for two sample jars. Another option to lower the total is to stick to just leftover diamonds in your stash and leftover paint colors you already have in the garage. The door hanger itself was $1, and we talked about using leftover diamonds and other ideas to make the whole project a lot less expensive. Was this fun? Yes, this was fun. This is a fun project and there are a lot of border designs out there to match your style and taste. It was a quick project. The only long part of the project was waiting. Waiting for the paint to dry before starting the first side of the door knocker and waiting for the one side of the door knocker to dry before diamond painting the second side. The door knocker itself was $1, and if I had used more leftover diamonds, the project would have been less expensive. I will look for other quick projects just like this. I'll change the background, the stain, the color of the wood, I'll find different borders to work with, and I'll add even more bling next time. I can see creating borders on signs for the laundry, the dishwasher, 
and the kitchen and other places that busy families might need signs. The pattern was more difficult than I expected. The symbols for the pink colorway on page 8 were different than the symbols on page 41, specifically for color 8003. In the blue colorway, colors 7002, 8128, and 8158 were extremely close to each other. And the votive pictures on page 8 had more lines than the patterns on page 41. But I had fun, and I would do this pattern again, and more like it. Are you interested in the adventure of trying something new? What do you need to give you that last bit of encouragement to try one of these freestyle methods? What signs do you need in your busy household? When you use these freestyle elements in your own projects, will you use them in different ways? Will you try to get different effects? What seems interesting, challenging, and fun to you? If you have a masterpiece that you created on your own instead of from a pre-made diamond painting kit, please leave a link in the comments to your YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and so on site to share your beautiful work. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to working on more projects that you are interested in. Please like and subscribe and join us again for Suncoast Crafting.